Hey guys, Matthew97657 here. And like in the previous two videos, we're gonna finish off my my Godzilla run with uh, the last figure I have for today. All of these came in today. I know it kind of seems like, whoa, you just came back. No, um, the, all these figures came in literally today as in Friday the 17th. So it gave me material for me to upload. So material for me to, yeah. And so today, and our final figure will be the um, NECA Godzilla 2001 Atomic Breath variant. And so here we have GMK himself. Well, the suit, at least. Uh, Godzilla 2001, Ghidorah 2001, Mothra 2001, and Barrier 2001. And then Godzilla, uh, Godzilla, Mothra, oh wait, is that it? Godzilla, Mothra, King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters, all out attack, yeah. Oh, it was down there. Uh, 65th. NECA. And so this figure is older. I decided to get this one because I kind of have a little uh, little side project in my mind I want to get to. So here's a stock photo. Here he's himself. Um, it's each monster as of right now. And honestly, I think they're revealing something else uh, tonight as in Friday the uh, 17th. I think they're actually revealing stuff right now as I talk, which is kind of cool. But I'm missing out on it, so that's unfortunate. But um, we do know that they are making, or they're re-releasing two of their uh, figures, the Godzilla, or the GMK suit. There's Boo. Um, I'm really, actually, I don't know if I'm going to leave her out there. I don't want this video to kind of like, um, I don't want that to be a disturbance. So if she meows again on the video, and then I'll continue off where I was. But it looks like she's gone for now. So, there he is. Nothing too special about the box. Synopsis at the back. You know the deal. So this is a re-release. Because obviously the first release came in with the uh, the normal plastic box they used to give us. The plastic casing, rather. And I'm going to sound like a broken record, but obviously, like I've been seeing in the past few videos, uh, NECA is going to stop making figures. Or well, they lost their license. To, um for godzilla so by mid-august the after they review after they ship the um the variant for 89 and 03 uh NECA's kind of done so get NECA while you can and that's why i got this one obviously or actually because like i was saying they revealed the gmk atomic breath variant and the biolante special color version from SH Monsteroids, which got a lot of us riled up, especially the Biolante. Yeah, if, uh, start saving up for it, it's like 300 bucks. So start saving up for it now. Because once that one's gone, I mean, who knows when they're ever going to make a re release of Biolante. So, just be ready for it, y'all. Um, some things I probably should cover that I haven't covered is, uh, like I said, man, I sound so like bad. I'm sorry, guys. Um, Damn, I'm sorry guys. I haven't been I haven't done this in a while. I'm kind of losing track. I'm gonna focus right now. So obviously that's H Monster it's GMK, uh Spitfire version or Atomic Breath. It looks really nice. I think I'm gonna pass on it. That's why I got this one. This is my project. Hopefully one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna customize this NECA one to the you know look the best it possibly can. So I don't have to spend an eighty dollars another eighty dollars on a figure I have that's just painted different. And this one comes with a breath piece. So uh, yes, there's that. Also, the, um, the, I don't think it was a Comic-Con exclusive, but the convention exclusive Godzilla 2019, um, version, it's all blue, it's got, uh, white paint apps at the tip of his, uh, plates. Um, that one is on pre-order right now, it went, uh, pre-orders went live yesterday, make sure you get it before it runs out, I had a hard time getting it last night, uh, but fortunately I was able to get one, so make sure you get one at, the, at the time of this video is going up, which should be actually... And like three days from now, I'm sorry about that. But um, hopefully, if you catch this video, uh, pre-order it. I don't know. I don't remember how pre-orders pre-orders long last. Damn. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna leave this video last. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna leave this video last. So go ahead and pre-order if you can before uh, it sells out. Um, Godzilla vs Kong. Okay, I'm gonna get with the figure. Uh, Godzilla vs Kong uh, Playmates toys got. Um, I don't want to say released, not officially at least. Uh, well, they kind of did. Um, Walmart, it put out the giant Godzilla 
2020 and the uh, giant kong 2020 uh unfortunately i wasn't able to get the godzilla but i was able to get the kong so um it says that it's coming in really shortly which i personally don't believe i expect a, a delay uh, email but if i can't it does come in at this time uh you can expect a review here for kong at least godzilla when i get him i'll get him okay and so i think that's about it for figure news in terms of what's been like coming out recently um oh here goes a tail man coming from those new figures this tail is so so short um but that's fine I really like the paint apps on the door, the plates, the dorsal plates. Uh, I'm going to try and do this one without hot water. Uh, last video I failed, but, you know, strength sometimes. Oh, can, uh, no, I think I'm going to need the water for this one. Oh, man, and this one, he's like a bulky figure, too, so I can't really push. Let's try this. No. Uh, I'm gonna give the water, so expect a jump cut right about now. And we are back. Okay, so that one's a lot harder than the last one, actually. I don't know if it was because it was so short, or I don't know. But, uh, thankfully it's in. So that's, that's all that matters at the end of the day. And so let's actually start with the figure itself. And so, um, I mean, let's get to it. So here we have his head. Um, not, not too bad, honestly. I never picked up the uh, the first issue for this figure, the normal one. Uh, so his head looks pretty good to me. Um, his mouth open. Um, I mean, I'm not really too big of a fan of all the blue everywhere. That's honestly, I'm going to paint a good majority of it. So I'm going to paint like that, that. His mouth, obviously, I'm actually just going for the atomic breath itself. And uh, I'm going to act, I'm going to contradict myself here, but... I'm going to try and go for what uh, Monstarts is doing in the mouth where it's like this type of color that looks really nice when he's charging it. Obviously, you, you, if y'all remember the scene, he's charging it up and then uh, the uh, mushroom cloud appears. So I'm going to go for that. So I'm going to have to repaint his mouth. But in general, I mean, not a bad figure. Uh, Neko is, you know, they're kind of going for this like uh, cool art style or uh, figure style, honestly. So head's got articulation. Neck's got articulation. Uh, my like, what is this, the torso, or at least like, the upper chest, is a little bit wobbly for me. Um, not too bad. Um, so we got the hands. Close, open, arm. Biceps. Feet. Calves. Thighs. And yeah, and his tail is probably the most limited one because this is one of the older figures, so it's not nothing too crazy going on here. Um, so I'm just going to give my honest opinion on it. Uh, I think for what it's worth, it, it's, you know, it does a fantastic job uh, as a figure. And that's a little bit surprising for me, actually, because when I first saw this, I was like, eh, I think it kind of looks a little ugly. But, you know, uh, I saw someone say that NECA is probably the best bang for your buck, especially if you can't really afford the monster arts. Um, I think the paint on this is phenomenal, honestly. I love how this looks. This looks amazing. Uh, the sculpt itself is pretty good. Personally, I think I would like if he could, you know, stand a little bit more upright. Because he's kind of got, like, a good hunch going on. Um, man, I really wish I could fix it. I honestly have never tried to do, like, sculpting and all that. So I kind of have to stick with this. Um, not, or, not not my favorite but i mean if i do manage to find a fix i'll do it honestly and like i said this is gonna be custom so probably in later videos um i'll give y'all updates on how it's going and so let's uh look at the atomic breath piece he came with so i'm assuming you just stick it in and wait I'm not sure if there's like an actual like lock like a locking one like an 89 it kind of seems like it just positions itself with the ground so like on the ground uh it's touching it and it looks fine but like if you lift it up it falls out 
The breath itself is nice. Uh, I was expecting more of a like linear because that's how his beam was in the movie. Or at least, you know, when it's firing, the impact kind of like oh, it spreads out. Uh, it's got some white paint apps here. Uh, kind of thought it was, uh, I would think it'd been more blue, but uh, not too bad overall. So in comparison, I actually do have the original Monster Arts GMK figure. So we'll go ahead and give this a quick comparison and then that'll probably be it uh, for now. So, I mean, I was just saying, I kind of like how this one you know, can look up compared to this one. He's kind of like stuck looking down. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I can fix that, but if by a chance I can, it'd be really great. Because, well, anyways, he looks down when he fires it. Um, Mold-wise, obviously, the Monster Arts has more p points of articulation and whatnot. If I had the ability to go back in time, I'd probably get the NECA version of this one. And then I would get the uh, Spitfire version of the Monster Arts. But um, I don't want to feel like I'm coming hard on NECA. Because obviously, you know... They, they're not charging us the price that Monster Starts would. But this is just personal preference of mine. I'm not bashing on the figure at all. I think it's pretty good. Um, and so don't... And if, I, if it feels like I'm coming off rude, uh, don't let someone else's opinion, like, affect yours. Yeah, enjoy what you enjoy. I feel like I need to get that off. Uh, the tail's bigger on this one compared to this one. And, um... So, I mean, that's about it, really, for the monster arts, and then close it, close it. So, I'll do some uh, paint at work on this guy, maybe some retooling if I can, and I think that's about it. I've covered the GVK stuff, I've covered some of the SH monster art stuff. Uh, the X Plus stuff, uh, the gigantic series Burning Godzilla just got um, officially revealed. Uh, with the adjustment to his mouth which looks really nice i don't know if i'm gonna get that one yet because i that first one was a lot of money um oh man the 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 manufacturer i think they're called they're the brand called art spirits they're making those little small high detail uh king of the monsters set i'm definitely probably gonna pick that up so expect that some long time in the future um i'm trying to think uh def real burning godzilla that has also been announced in like may unfortunately actually now that i think about it, i need to check up on my defo real mothra because originally that was supposed to come out in may but due to the whole pandemic and stuff uh it got moved to july i think and it is july now that i think about it so i'll have to check up on that on the rick uh, website and um man i think i've covered a good majority of it uh make sure to keep up you know on twitter Instagram, whatever social media you use to keep up with Godzilla news. Um, personally, I use Kaiju News Outlet. Um, they're really up to date with their stuff. I go follow a couple of Monster Arts pages, like SH Monster Arts, the page themselves on Twitter. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, yeah, I think that is it. So, um, you know, expect, ooh, expect more. SH Mon from what I've purchased so far, what's coming in, is SH Monster is Burning Godzilla 2019, uh, the heavy paint version of King Ghidorah from Bandai, and there's another one coming in. I just can't remember which one it was. Oh, the um, the convention exclusive uh, Godzilla 2019. Expect that as well. Um, if by chance I decide to get another uh, NECA figure, I'll uh, show you all the customizations I do on them. But for now, I believe that is it. So thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, I hope we covered everything. Um, please be safe out there. Uh, there's a lot of going on, you know, wear a mask, you know. And that's not like, you know, an option. Like, <laughs> wear a mask. It's for your safety. We're trying to, you know, protect everyone as a as a, a human race. So I'm not going to get too much into it, but just be safe. And once again, thank you for watching.